Hey everybody and welcome to episode 2 of the Mad Pack. And uh, today there's a few different things that I'd like to get done. Um, one is I would like to get the Ars Magic book uh, made up. And I was looking around my area here a few minutes ago and if you look way over there, there's a, a pool of the water that we need in order to make that book. Um, I've already gone and killed a couple cows, so I got a couple pieces of leather, and uh, just needs uh, a couple more sticks, and I'll have enough to make a, an item frame. And uh, for those of you who don't know how to uh, to do this, uh, basically you you make yourself an item frame. Whoops. Grab yourself a book, and uh, yeah. And then from there. Let's run over here to this water real quick. Hopefully none of these guys are going to kill me. Centaurs are all okay. Uh-oh. There's a Spriggan that wants to kill me already. Let's see if we can just run past him. Oh. Rare Hungering Spriggan of Fatigue. Alright, well, it looks like he's far enough away now that he's not going to bother us. So anyway, from this point, you just basically uh, throw down a block like that with the item frame on it, and then put the book in the item frame, like so. And you see these pretty little things uh, going into the book, and then it'll go... Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, and then you have yourself... Um, oh, what did they? what do they call it? Did I get the book back also? Hmm, interesting. Um, Arcane Compendium. Now, there's a lot in here, and uh, I'm going to not read this on camera. Um, I don't mo know much about Ars Magica, and I know that uh, some of my normal viewers do know quite a bit, so hopefully they can help me with this stuff. Um, another thing that happened a few minutes ago is I think that got hit by something because... I heard a really loud bang, and then all of a sudden started seeing water coming down out of that thing. So, that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if I should try and take on this guy. 160 hit points? I don't think so. So, let's try and make our way around him. Uh, the next thing I wanted to do is uh, make up the Tinker's Construct uh, workbenches and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get back inside, and we'll go through that. Um, I'm also going to be building a... Um, oh, this right here is my shower. Uh, if you didn't know, with the uh, liquid force, you can stand in it, and it will heal you. So um, I'm going to be carrying around a bucket with me. Uh, I think that's kind of standard for people that I've seen playing with dark, dart craft. But uh, anyway, as you can see here, I've already got the crafting sta station by Tinker's Construct. And since I have it sitting right next to the, uh, the chest like this, I can actually access the chest's inventory. So um, I'll have to organize that and whatnot. Now, it won't actually pull from the chest to craft stuff. So you have to pull it out of there, put it in your inventory and whatnot. But that's not that big of a deal. Um, one of the... First things I would like to make, though, is a slab furnace. And for no other real reason, I mean, I've already got a furnace sitting over here, but it is kind of neat. Um, Tinker's Construct does allow you to make half slab uh utensils or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, there is our slab furnace. And it works exactly the same as every other furnace. So you just throw in your fuel, throw in your whatever you're going to cook, and it'll cook it up. But it only takes up a half a block. So that's kind of cool. Uh, there, there's a few other things that you can do the same thing with. Alright, the next thing we need is let's see if I can remember this stuff off the top of my head. Uh, we're gonna need some more sticks for sure, and I think we're gonna need four of these. They are blank patterns. 
All right, and with the blank pattern, we can start out with this here, which is our part builder. And it's just a, uh, sla or a uh, piece of wood and a blank pattern. Uh, the next, I believe, is actually planks and a pattern. That's our stencil table. Um, the next is a crafting table with a stencil or, or yeah, blank pattern above it. That's our tool station. And then the last that we need to make is a chest with a blank pattern over it, and that gives us a uh, pattern chest. So let's go ahead and get this stuff placed down. Um, I'm going to go ahead right at the moment and just put my book above the door here so I know where it is, and then I'll, I'll get it later when uh, I decide to read it. Um... I really haven't thought how I'm going to lay this stuff out, so let's see. Tool station, stencil table, pattern chest, part builder, and tool station. That should work. Um, so let's go ahead and make up a few more of the uh, stencil... Uh, uh, blank patterns, I'm sorry. Blank patterns. Oops. Like so. And we can just throw them in here. Uh, I guess not. In the stencil table. Yeah, we can just throw those in there. And then we can go ahead and start making different things. Um, as you can see, my stone sword is just about gone. So let's go ahead and make us a, uh, a few patterns here. So we'll need a tool rod, a uh, pickaxe head... A shovel, axe, a sword blade, a hand guard, let's see what else, a uh, tool binding, and then I'll get to all this stuff guys, uh, don't, don't worry about it right at the moment, but I think that's all we really need right at the moment to, to get started. So. We can go ahead and take all these patterns now and throw them into this chest, and then we can access them, you know, through here. So the first thing we're going to need, I uh, don't want to start with um, stone. I would prefer to start with flint. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, beat up some gravel here real quick and hopefully get me some flint. That didn't work. Oh goodness, this may take a while. Okay. Nope. Both of those went outside. How about that? Well, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick here and uh, tell I get me some flint. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. And that took a lot longer to get this flint than I expected it to. But uh, now that we have it, we can go ahead and get busy. And so the easiest thing to start with would be our uh, tool rod pattern, which is basically a tool rod and a stick. Uh, you could also put a uh, plank of wood in there, I believe, and it'll give you a stick back. But Okay, so we've got a wooden tool rod. And now we're going to need a few of these, but uh, I only had one stick in my inventory right at the moment. Um, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is... Uh, let's do a pickaxe head. You just throw the uh, pattern in there with a piece of flint, and you get a flint pickaxe head. And then the next thing we need is a tool binding, and we're going to use paper as a tool binding. And uh, I'll explain why here in just a moment. So we'll go ahead and go into here, click on the pickaxe over here, we'll throw in our tool binding, our tool rod, and our uh, axe head. And you'll notice that over here, um, it says our modifiers remaining are four. Well, normally that would only be three, but since we're using a paper binding, it's giving us one extra modifier. So we're going to go ahead and make that. And uh, let's see here. I think 
yeah, this has a mining level of iron. So, um, the other nice thing about this is if I do wear it out, it is repairable through this area right here. Now, I don't have anything right at the moment to actually uh, put on there, like, you know, you can put redstone on there. There's a whole bunch of different things. Redstone, quartz, uh, you know, like nether quartz, and uh, just all sorts of things. Uh, and we'll get into that later, but for right now, uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to make another tool uh, rod. This time I'm going to make it out of stone. And I'm going to go ahead and make two of those. And we're going to do, let's see, let's do a sword blade out of flint, a uh, axe head, oops, axe head out of flint, and a shovel head out of flint. Okay. And the next thing we're going to need, we're going to need a wide guard pattern and um, another, t well, no, let's do this. Let's, um, let's make our shovel, like so. Make our axe. And I'm trying, yeah, let's go ahead and just make our uh, hand guard out of flint also. Um, I really don't think that's going to be the best way to go, but um, while we're at it, can, yeah, we can make a flint tool rod too. So let's just throw this all together real quick and uh, see what we end up with here. Alright, it's saying durability of that, attack pat of 3.5 hearts, and it's got three modifiers remaining. So, broadsword six attack damage. Okay. So, now that we have that, I shouldn't be eating at my apples, I don't think. I should be eating my sandwiches. But, all right here. Now that we got that going on, the next thing I wanted to do this episode is, um, a, well. That's a good question. What was it that I wanted to do? I know it had something to do... Oh, yeah. I wanted to find some clay and some sand because I want to get started on... Um, what's that? Wild wild cran candleberry. Okay. Um, I want to get started on a smeltery so that we can actually... Once we start getting ores and whatnot, we can actually start making better weapons and and tools and everything with Tinker's Construct. So, um, I believe in order to get started with that, we need a decent amount of sand and a decent amount of clay. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if there's any clay around here real quick. I think I saw some right over here, like right outside the door. Yeah, there's a few pieces right there. Hey, there's some salt. Nice. Some clay. So go ahead and get. It. And yeah, I, we do need. To, whoa! What are you doing in daytime? I did not expect him to be out here. I thought he was underneath us uh, in the dungeon, and which we need to take care of uh, fairly soon. Go down there and at least start trying to light up some stuff just to make it a little bit more safe. Now, just so you know, guys, this is not going to be the permanent house. This is just uh, getting us started um, to where we can actually get some armor, get some weapons, and survive. Now, that being said, I like this area. I like the, uh, the three lagoons here and... Uh, the magical forest right next to those lagoons. I mean, I, I really, really like this area. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys as to whether or not you want me to go find another home or to build here. So it, it, I, I'll either way is fine with me, but I do like this area. So um, let's 
see how much I only got 36 um, clay out of that so let's see if we can find some more clay real quick just around the house and none there. This black stuff, I'm not really sure what it is. Um, you saw in episode one that it poisoned me and, well, it did all sorts of strange things to me. It made me nauseous and all sorts of stuff. But here's some. But I don't know what it is. I don't know what mod it's from. Because um, the little tooltip I have that's at the top of the screen there doesn't tell me what fluids are from. So I guess I could try and get a bucket and you know dip some out and find out that way. That, well, that's probably what I'm going to have to do. You see it's killing the chickens. Um... Okay, cool. This will be the last of the clay we get. And if we need some more, as you can see, there, there's a few more here, and I'm sure there's some over there in the other water. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, start making some seared bricks, I believe is what they are called. Let's go ahead and eat a sandwich. And I'm not sure which mod it is, but some mod on here is actually making it to where it takes longer to eat, uh, which I think is kind of neat. Um, <laughs> I say that now. Uh, we'll see how I feel about it here after a few episodes. But um, anyway, we are looking for Seared Brick. Seared Brick, right there. Alright. We need grout and smelted. Grout is sand, clay, and gravel. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go find some gravel. Um, yeah, I mean, I got a few pieces here that I can take out of my walls, but that isn't really going to, uh, to do it much for us. So, um, I am going to go ahead and, uh, cut this episode right here, guys, and I... Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the episode, give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. And uh, there's a lot more to come with this mod pack, obviously. And oh, it's just, it's so overwhelming. There's so much to it. So um, I will see you guys next time. Take care.